What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with some more NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today ladies and gentlemen we are going to take care of some week 2 recruiting and we're going to do some week 3 recruiting but first we have a little bit of a skill tree to put on here uh, so we're going to go to our skill tree and uh, we're going to go to hmm, increase scouting efficiency that allows you to uncover 25 okay Let's do that, and voila, we'll save that, and we're going to go to our little prospect board here, um, recruiting, uh, we're going to points remaining, 750 points remaining, and they said to go to the wide, you guys said in the comments to focus on the guy who's 6'7", and I agree, big target. We could probably go up to a full 500 on him. Because he's probably going to be our best bet. Um, should we offer him a scholarship yet? Not quite. Um, Want to save up a few more points. Get a big lead or so, whatever or not. And we're going to focus on our middle linebacker. You guys said to do that too. And we have 300 points on this guy. Let's go up to 5. And we actually are... I think we're catching up on that guy. Um, do a little bit more scouting on him. See if he's ah, he's dropping. Ugh. We can work with him though. We're, we got we got to put some stock on that little linebacker position. Um, let's go to team needs. Fullback. Ooh, he's actually good. Okay, let's see how Mullins is. He's about the same. So that's it for that week's recruiting. Um, so we're going to go to back. We're going to auto-save, obviously. Uh, let's see what we can do here for the next week when we go take on LSU. And uh, this game will be on all Heismans, both sides of the ball. I felt like last week against Iowa State, it was way too easy for me to just walk in there with a W. And I feel like if we just play on all Heisman on both sides of the ball, it'll be a piece of cake for at least to make this a realistic dynasty um we'll see what we can do hopefully um, we're gonna check the rankings because obviously uh you guys want to see that too uh we're gonna see what everything what we can do for college football as far as that goes lsu is now up to number 11 in the uh poll so we're gonna take a look at that as soon as we take care of some more recruiting and we'll be able to get to the game so we're gonna see here it's gonna take a little bit preparing studio updates <laughs> Please. Okay, so Tony Clark is apparently ready to visit. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. We need a fullback. We do need a fullback. Our fullback right now is not good. Um, let me go to ESPN. Let's go to the top 25 polls. Alabama's probably number one. Uh, Ohio State two, Stanford three, A&M four, Oregon five, Clemson six, Notre Dame seven, Florida eight, Louisville nine, Georgia ten. LSU 11, Oklahoma 12, Florida State 13, Texas 14, South Carolina 15, Michigan 16, UCLA 17, Kansas State 18, 19, Nebraska 20, Oregon State 21, Northern Illinois 22, Washington 23, Ole Miss 24, Boise State 25, Arizona State. So, uh, pretty decent so far for the standings. Um, obviously, we don't have any players near the Heisman's voting so we're not gonna worry about conference things quite yet because we haven't even had our first conference game so we're gonna go to um sort of more some, some more recruiting and we're gonna see how much we can put a stock on some of these players we need a full we're gonna just have that fullback come and visit uh tony clark um we can vi make him visits we can, actually, the later we schedule him, the better. So we're going to do this against BYU. Week 12. The better off we are, the, you know. And I think we're going to put all of our stock on, our, on that fullback. Because he's he's obviously shown a lot of interest in our school. And we have a huge lead. We have a, we're going to put a lot of stock onto that guy. He really wants to come to UAB. And uh, that's actually a good thing. So we're going to put... And now we took the huge lead on that receiver, too. We were behind last week, but now we just...
sort of just jumped over them. And we're gonna put some more scouting into him. And you see, we got some we got some good stamina on there. Um, only 35% scouted, but he does have an A speed, which he could be in the high 90s. That'd be awesome. Um, we're gonna keep that 500 points on him. Um, maybe put down a 100 on the um, on Lionel Poland and Thurman Cox. Even though we have a huge we have a huge lead on Thurman Cox, I'm not too worried at all. We have a huge lead on Lionel Poland too. So, um, uh, I'm not too worried just yet on anything. We have a huge lead on both of these guys. And to take a look at the prospect overview, we have a huge lead on both these players. And we have a pretty big lead on the tight ends and uh, the both tight ends we are looking for. Actually, oh, we have all, lead, all three. That's actually pretty good. Uh, offensive line, uh, we're still a little bit behind on this guy. Um, we have a lead. We have a lead on this guy. We're going to actually put more stock into him. We're going to put 300 on him now. And we're going to go probably put less on him. Um, they're both, well, pass blocking. We, I mean, we could obviously work on that. We, this guy's more balanced. But he's showing interest in Georgia, uh, Georgia State. So I'm going to probably put less stock into him. Probably only put like 100. I think I had 200 before. Yeah, we're out of the race for this guy. I, I'm not, I'm not going to throw my stock into somebody who's not interested. Uh, but we got this guy here. I think we have, we can put a little bit more stock into him. We're going to probably throw it all off of Wilson here. We could go for this guy too, but there's a pass blocker too. Um, we could throw our stock into this guy too. I think we're going to go about one. We're going to go about 200 on him. We're going to go 350 on Gary Brown. Oh, 350. We'll go guards. We got a big lead for Daniel Alexander, which is awesome because, of course, we need a guy like him. We're gonna put a little bit more on him. We have, even though we have a huge lead, I think we could put a little bit more. Um, we have a big lead for this guy too, and this guy, and not so much that guy. All right, so we're gonna get kind of give up on that guy. We're gonna go for Carlos Smith. We're gonna give up on Casey Landrum, and we're gonna go for Carlos Smith. We're gonna go 300. Go with the DNs. Um, we could get a. Uh, we gotta focus on D tackles too, so we don't want to throw too much on the stock on that one. Um, we're we're keeping pace with Darius Richardson, and not so much Sidney Perez. We're gonna probably go less on Sidney Perez because we're falling way behind, and we're gonna throw the rest of our stock here on Richardson here. Middle line, our outside linebackers, we're doing pretty good so far, even though I only have 100 on this. Eh. Yeah, they're all, we're all within range. So if we keep on winning games, we should be able to go over the hump. Uh, corners, we're doing pretty good on that one and that one as well. Uh, free safety, I'm not too worried about free safety right now. We don't have any strong safeties. Uh, we'll go to athletes here. And we have a, a lead on that athlete there. We might be able to use him as a defensive player. We're going to scout that guy real quick. And uh, not a receiver by any means. Probably a defensive back. Uh, let's take a look at the... Does he have the tackling one? No, he doesn't. Jeez, that's helpful. Um, who do we have too many points on? I want to take a look at that other athlete. Ah, the quarterback, top schools. We have a pretty good lead. Looks like we're going to get Brad Perry as our quarterback. Um, I think we're actually going to be good on recruiting this week. Uh, I know we're nine minutes into the video. But if you guys do enjoy these, please let me know. Um, I will keep on doing more of these. I know recruiting is a big thing in, the, in a dynasty, so I hope to bring you guys the authenticity and everything else in between. <laughs> So make sure you guys click that like button for the Dynasty and all that good stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy the game versus LSU. Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance. I'm out. Until the game. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Purple and gold will envelop the entire area. Tiger Stadium will be rocking, and in a matter of moments, Mike the Tiger will let out that ferocious growl that lets you know you are only one place. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where LSU will try to score an important home win.
Thank you for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. We are here at LSU and Baton Rouge, Louisiana, here at Tiger Stadium, where it is going to be a uphill battle the entire game with the crowd, with how good LSU can be. Um, this team is scary. Do not expect us to easily come out with a win. That is probably going to be, you know, it's not going to be like Iowa State where we won pretty easily. It's going to be like. If we end up keeping it close, it's probably going to be somewhere from anywhere from like no more than a touchdown. Maybe not even a field goal. But as you see right there, we already turned the ball over, so it's not a good start. Here's Foster dropping back, looking over the middle to Jennings, and David Jennings gets the first down for the LSU Tigers. As the LSU Tigers come in ranked number 11 in the country, we are expected to get blown out of the water. But we're going to try to do our best, even if we lose or getting our butts kicked in the middle of the game, we're not going to give up. This team is all about fight. That's all I want to see is fight in this team as we already give up an early touchdown to Myers. And it's already 7-0 LSU. And we're going to just try and stick to our bread and butter, which is trying to keep a balanced attack. Uh, start with establishing the run early and then maybe bring in a few passes or, or later on of play actions or whatnot. But we got to keep it consistent. Uh, we cannot get flustered. As you see right there, Pope comes up with the interception. He was kind of lurking underneath, and I didn't see him right there. So we got our second interception thrown. Cutler's not having a good start into this first quarter. And we could fall as early behind as 14 to nothing. So we're gonna hand, they're going to hand off here. Oh, nope, read option. Here is their quarterback taken off, and he's stumbling, and he gets the first down right there. TJ Foster for a gain of 15. Second down and two here for the LSU Tigers. And they're in the shotgun with Myers in the backfield. Foster drops back, looking, strides a couple of sacks, and gets it off to Allen. Tyler Allen gets the touchdown. It's 14-0 LSU. You know, they haven't ran many offensive, many offensive plays, but they've already got two scores. Because of our turnovers, it's going to kill us. You see Brown getting that one-yard carry, and it's fourth down in inches. But we're going to go for it here because we want to show our guts, our determination, our grit, and that we're not going to quit against this LSU team. Cutler scrambling out of the pocket, and he gets that first down, runs out of bounds for a gain of five yards, and we keep moving the chains. That's all we want to do is make some progress with this team. I don't care if we lose. I just want to sh see that this team can actually show, so, uh, show some fight. That's all I want to do is show this team, this LSU Tiger team, that we can fight. We can. I wouldn't say hang in there, but we're not going to quit, and they're not going to quit either. So off to Allen on the screen pass. Gets a gain of about 19 on the play. So set third down and two here with 3.37 left in the first half. Cutler scrambling, and he throws it, but Marshall runs back to the ball, runs behind the line of scrimmage, and doesn't get anywhere. So we're going to end up settling for a field goal right here. Although they did suggest to go for it, I would rather just take the points and move on. That's just my philosophy. I know it sounds like I'm giving up right there, but... With how good this LSU defense is, I really cannot trust my offense too much. We already went for it on fourth down. We got it. But you can't put too much faith in it. You can't just go for it every time because then it's going to end up biting you in the butt. So we're going to try and take as many points as we can when the opportunity shows up. We're just going to take points because we just want we just want to build confidence. We just want to build confidence here at UAB. And it's kind of hard when your team is getting your butt kicked like this, I know. But every little bit helps and you just got to take it one step at a time with a team like this because it's just really just not a good situation for UAB at all they're not a very good uh, football team and <laughs> right now they're just getting manhandled Ken East got to pick up a 29 on that play and he just stiff armed the guy to the ground like it was nothing so first and goal LSU looks like they're gonna score again handoff to Myers and he is gonna truck his way into the end zone for a 10-yard scamper it's now 21 to 3 LSU 
LSU has been dominant so far in every aspect of the game. And we need to do something about that. We got to continue to fight. So Cutler gets a gain of 12 right there and a first down. We're moving the ball. At times, yes, our run game has been probably the only thing that's been really good so far. Our passing game, outside of the turnovers, Cutler's been decent. The interceptions are killing us. And we can't have that uh, be our little mistakes we can't have those mistakes later on in the season if we even want to contend for a bowl game we've already thrown our third interception and we're going into halftime with possibly a 28 to 3 deficit so foster looking over the middle it's reese and he gets it down to the 26 yard line in uab territory so they're already in field goal range we could be down as little as 24 to 3 or if we even you know try and make a defensive stand here which we haven't done so at all until now as Foster throws that deep into the end zone, it's intercepted by Cunningham. And he's going to run this one out. And he's making a guy miss out to the 20-ish yard line. I would give it the 19 and a half. But we get into field goal range with three seconds to go. But, dong, off the crossbar. No good. So going into halftime, we have dominated the time of possession. but we And passing yards and rushing yards. But the turnovers have been killing us. And we got to do better than that. LSU has been all over the ball on defense, flying to the ball, just forcing turnovers, making our quarterback get happy feet in the pocket. They have been putting pressure on Cutler all day long, and it's not really been favorable for us. Even though we haven't taken a sack, we haven't been really comfortable in the pocket, and that's something that we need Cutler to do. But the, it all starts at the offensive line, because if we don't get protection, you know what, we're not going to get any yards. We're going to force more turnovers. And it's just going to be a bad day at the office. So, second down and 11 here for the LSU Tigers. And Foster in the shotgun looking. He has time over the middle to Reese once again. It has been killing us over the middle all game long. We have tried to put spies out there, but they always burn us on the outside because our DBs are not that fast and not as talented as our, you know, as their wide receivers compared to our DBs. They're just, it's just the talent level is just so much different. And it's now second and 10 here for the LSU Tigers. Hand off to Myers. Going right side. And he's pushing down on the defender. Pushing down another one. And wow. Touchdown LSU again. It's now 28-3 to as this game has gotten out of control for UAB. We got to put some. We got to put a stop to this somehow. I mean, we've had flashes against LSU where we've looked good. But we haven't been able to hold on to the football. And that's going to end up killing us. Uh, well, it pretty much killed us right there with that touchdown right there by Myers. But the turnovers are going to kill us later on in the year if we decide to be as aggressive as we have been. And that interception right there, I have no words. McCoy went up there and was like Matt, or Calvin Johnson on that play. Just went up and got it. Third down and 14 for LSU. Foster looking, and he gets taken down for the sack. We make a defensive stand, and that's actually a good confidence boost for our defense, even though we are losing by a lot. And now we go over the middle to Zach Warren, and Zach Warren picks up a gain of 13 on the play. He has been a good force over the middle in the slot, and we got to have him be effective if this team wants to at least make a bowl game. Cutler looking over the middle again, this time to Irvin. Irving gets a first down for the UAB Blazers, and we actually have something going here, but can we keep a hold of that football. Cutler looking again over the middle. Zach Warren again gets taken out. Down to the ground he goes, but he gets the first down. Zach Warren, five catches, 55 yards. He has been a very good offensive set, uh, asset to this team. But Cutler on third and 12 gets sat, uh, gets it off, but you know he almost got sat on the play. So we're going to go for it on fourth and 12 at about the 35-yard line. Not quite in field goal range, but Cutler going to go deep, but he does throw it out of bounds and we're going to have to have a turnover on downs so the start of the fourth quarter here we're down by 25 and here's a handoff here oh nope another read option and here is tj foster taking this down to about the 45 yard line in uab territory once again pickup of 11 for tj foster he has had a monstrous game both in the air and on the ground we cannot stop this guy he has been amazing so far Here's Foster once again. Gets hit as he throws, but it's off to Reese, and it's a foot race to the end zone as TJ, or Tyler Bates takes him by his shoelace and gets him down. So second and goal here with 5-10 remaining in the football game. 
Here is Foster once again looking, has time, and it's a touchdown by Allen once again. Tyler Allen, second touchdown of the game. It's now 35-3. to It's been a bad game for the UAB Blazers as they just want to try and get this to be at least somewhat competitive again. Uh, at least get a touchdown, get him a confidence boost or something. Going de deep downfield, and guess who it is? Zach Warren. Once again, 44-yard pickup for Zach Warren. He's got almost 100 yards receiving. He has been amazing so far. This time it's off to Weiss for a gain of about 22 on the play. And now it's third down and 10. We might just end up settling for a field goal, but we want to try and see what we can do first. And this time it's off to Zach Jones. And he gets the 15-yard touchdown. It's now 35-10. to 10. We actually got a touchdown against one of the best defenses in college football. That is enough confidence for me to go into next week against Washington State and come out with a win. But our defense has to be better. Washington State's offense is amazing. And I would know because I've played with that team in a dynasty before because... You know they get they get they go a lot through the air, not so much on the ground. So we got to get ready for their pass passing attack in order to be effective on defense. But we do end up losing this game quite badly, 42 to 10. And this only motivates me more for next week's game against Washington State because I know how to stop Washington State, and we could probably build off this win or this tough, really bad loss. I wouldn't say win. We didn't even win nothing. We got our asses kicked. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys enjoyed it, of course. Uh, Leave a like, and it means a lot to see you guys drop likes and all that stuff. And leave your comments down below, too. I will try and get to them as much as possible. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am out. Peace.